next level. So here, I don't want to add another floor. I want to add a roof to the top of that. So let's look at, um, let's go to level two floor plan. And looks like there's nothing here because this one is displaying down. So see range base underlay. There is no underlay top level and bounded underlay orientation looking down. So I want to do um, here, I want it to look down to level one. Let's apply. So see, I can see downwards now. That's not actually on this level, so I can't pick it, but I can align to it. Um, so we've got this thing ready to go, and then we've got, um, now we just really need to add a roof. So very similar to doing floor is roof. So roof and floor, you create them exactly the same way. The only exception is that the roof has more settings because the roof is sloped, potentially, or it could be a flat roof. But you have the ability to control the pitch on the roof. Also, a key difference I'll show you in a minute is these roofs and floors and ceilings, they're all tied to the level. If we look at our elevation view, when you select the floor, I know one exists here, those begin at the level and go downwards. So those 12 inches start at the floor and go down. So if I wanted to make this, let's say, is there just a concrete one by default? No, I guess this one kind of is. Um, a different one, it's gonna go down always. This floor here will start at that line and go down. The roof will start at this line and go up. So that's the main difference between those two. So just something to keep in mind um, as we work on this. Um, so now here we are, level two view. Let's make a roof. So architecture, roof. Remember, we're back in this sketch mode, a modify kind of mode. Um, we need to draw a sketch. And just like before, it has to be a closed shape with no overlaps no open edges, just nice clean shape. Um, we can do the pick lines or I'll show you, you can use just a rectangle if you wanted to. You can just click like that. And then once we have that created, you can select kind of like this. You could move that witness line here and you could say, oh, look, it's 35. Um, we can click this guy now and see what is this dimension? 45, well, that's actually kind of cool. So if you notice, by default, we get these little triangles. I'll show you what those are in a second because those do have an effect on the roof. If all you do is draw this square like that and you hit accept, you'll get this view. And now if I tab over to our 3D view, you can see our beautiful building with its little roof. If you look up from the bottom, you'll notice the walls do not go up to it. It's kind of like this magical floating hat on top of our building. Um, we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to modify that so that it, the walls actually do go to the roof. But first, let's get the roof to look the way we want. By default, the roof is going to have this crazy 9 to 12 slope, and all the slides will be sloped. If I go back to here and I click there and I now I go to edit footprint so to see select the roof that appears without the roof you don't have that tool so remember Revit is very contextual you need to select the object make sure you have it selected and then you can edit it once we have that you can click on the individual sides notice how they all have a setting Let's say I wanted to notch this to kind of go along there. I can do that. So let's say I'll show you a cool trick. We can click here and do something like that. I'm making just two rectangles. And now I'm going to use that trim tool again. And I'm going to trim that to there, this one to there, this one to here, this one to there. And now we have all these extra lines. Do you think Revit will let us keep those? Let's see. Oops, no, it can't. And it's highlighted all these dudes out here saying you got to get rid of those. So we're going to continue, select 
both of those and you just hit the delete key and get rid of them. So now Revit actually will let us do it. So here I'm going to say I want that to move. So I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to move that down two feet. And then here I'm going to move. So MV is a shortcut for move here two feet just to give it a little bit of an offset there. And then here we could do, let's leave that one for now. So now let's see what that did to our roof. If we go back to our 3D view, so I'm gonna jump to it so we don't keep cycling through. So it's added this little dormer there. Let's say I wanted these two sides not to be angled back like a hip like that. I wanted them to be just cut off like that. So let's go in there and make it do that. So if I go back to that last view, select our roof, and you go edit footprint, this is where you adjust which sides actually affect the slope of the roof. If you see a side with that triangle, that is the slope. So notice how right now by default, I don't have anything selected, all the, ro the roof are sloped 9 to 12 inches. If I pick a side, you can change how steep that is. Or, if I don't want any slope at all on these two sides, you need to uncheck this setting here. So select that line, uncheck Define Roof Slope, and notice how that triangle disappeared. Now if I do the same on this side, I'm going to leave everything the same and hit Accept. Now when I go to 3D view, notice the two sides here are not angled, but those ones all are. Here I can clearly see there's an issue, so let's fix that before we go any farther. I'm going to just grab all these wind, um, walls like this using a selection from right to left, and I'm going to check my filter to make sure I've only got walls, so that's good. Now, with these selected, you'll see these two options up here, attach top and base. If you click that, and then we click the roof, it will jump them up to there. So that looks good there. The next thing I want to do is create a different amount of slope from one side to the other. I don't want this kind of birdhouse looking thing. I want to change it. So what we can do is go into... Um, well, let's say we want that guy to just come out like that without that hip to look like one of these. To do that, we can go to our plan, select this, edit footprint, and like you th you, we did here, you got to uncheck to find slope and accept it. And now we go to our 3D view, and there you go. It looks like a mini version of the other ones. Now, if I wanted to adjust how much that is sloping, Let's say I want this to be really slow and that one to be sharper. I can do that by going, and here I'll show you, you can actually edit this in this view too. It's a little trickier because it's going to show it kind of in this perspective. So as long as you can kind of figure out which sides you're picking, um, you can do that. So let's grab here and say not 9 to 12, let's try 4 inches to 12. and then accept it. See now it's changed from that side it's going to give us a different slope. I'm not saying this is like the coolest design, I'm just purely showing you how to do this. This is kind of weird looking. Um, so that's the basics to doing a roof by footprint. Later on we'll look at doing a roof by extrusion. Um, it's a little different because you draw the shape in profile view and it extrudes it across. Um, so you can get like wavy curved kind of things. Um, so done that guy. Now let's go in and start adding columns and column grids because that's pretty